Hi besties, welcome to a brand spanking new vlog. Um, this one is going to be quite different to my other ones because I'm facing my fears in this one, challenging myself. Let's go. So I haven't traveled for over two years. The last time I got on a plane was August 2021 and I haven't been on a plane since. I've avoided it at all costs. I've turned down a lot of all expenses paid trips because of the fears. So I didn't go to Romania, Alula, Paris, London, Doha, Maldives. Like I've turned down so many sexy opportunities just because of this fear. But then a few days ago, like I would say a week ago, this opportunity came about to go to Doha. It's work related, but it's a really cool opportunity and that's exactly what I need. I need a very short flight to get over this entire thing. Going to Doha from Dubai is just an hour flight, but I don't even think it's an hour. I think it might be even shorter than that because I've done it once before and I swear as soon as we took off, we had to land. That's exactly what I need. I need a really short flight to kind of kickstart this entire thing. And I know that after that one takeoff, when I prove to myself that I'm not scared, we're good, man. I have two big trips planned this year, one in April, one in July. And I know that to be able to do those trips, I have to do a small one right now. So this is me challenging myself. My emotions are very up and down. Like when I sent my passport copy as an approval to this whole thing, I, I cried. I cried because I was so scared. And then I was happy and excited and then last night i was anxious and then when i woke up i was extremely excited i barely slept because i kept waking up because i was so excited and then now again i'm a little bit anxious but like i know that this entire process is going to be a roller coaster of emotions and i'm prepared for that i know that that's exactly how my brain works and how it's going to go more than anything i know that i'm not going to cancel and that is what good about this whole thing no one knows that i'm traveling so i told my mom and my mans and no one else today i got my ticket confirmation for my flight so then i was like oh cool i'm actually going so i told my dad and my brothers i didn't tell my friends at all and i'm not gonna tell them i'm just gonna land and then let them know just because i don't want to have like a conversation about it because that makes me nervous um, I prefer not talking about it and then just doing it and then letting them know. And also, I know they'll be so super happy and excited because um, my friend's been waiting too. <laughs> I know for a fact that this one trip is going to help me so much in the long run. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very excited to challenge myself and do something that I've been avoiding for over two years. Obviously, a lot of people have different fears and stuff. It's normal to have fears. I know that flying is like a very common fear, but I think what's really important is to make sure that that fear doesn't necessarily take over your entire life. And that's what it did for me. I feel like it became part of my personality. I feel like it has stopped me from doing so much. It gets in the way of me doing things like traveling with friends, traveling with family, traveling for work um and everything in between so i think this will help me a lot also to give you the tea i used to love traveling it was my favorite thing i love the entire process of like packing driving to the airport um being at the airport duty free boarding uh, flying take off all of it i loved it so much but then suddenly like overnight this fear started and i think because i talked about it so much and told so many people about it it literally became so real it became more real than it was piece of advice from me don't talk about your shit so much because when you talk about it to people you're making it so much more real for yourself and then people know and then they make it real for you as well so then it just becomes part of your personality like i'm in my friend group i'm known as the one who's scared of flying and that's not necessary. Don't talk about your negative things out loud. To yourself, don't bring it up. And to people, don't bring it up. If you do bring it up, talk to your therapist, you know? That's my long intro. I fly tomorrow night and I need to go do my nails. This one broke. The middle one broke, as you can see. This one, then color is chipped. And then my acrylics, like I don't need them anymore. My nails have grown. So I have a few maintenance things to do with my nails. I'm on my way now and then 
I have to go back home, continue working, and, and start packing. It's gonna be a roller coaster of emotions, but I'm glad that I'm vlogging this for my future self. And because um, I feel like it might be entertaining, girl, like on the plane. Hey. So, welcome to this vlog of facing my fears. Um, I hope it inspires you to challenge yourself in something that's been bothering you in life. But I'm glad to have you by my side, and I'm glad to be documenting this for myself. So it's the next day. I haven't vlogged at all because I've been emotional. <laughs> um, on one day, I'm like super, super excited. On another day, I'm like super scared. I'm like, I don't think I can do this. Last night, I went to sleep like what the hell am i doing today i woke up like what the hell am i doing right now a bit more chill we're gonna do this man we're gonna do this i didn't vlog anything because i was literally just like really in my head and i was like working they said I, I after i did my nails i came back home i continued working and then i watched desperate housewives till like 11 p.m and today i went to a sephora event in the morning came back packing have a meeting and work stuff to do and then i head to the airport i'm so confused with how to feel and i don't like i hate like when i tell people like oh i'm feeling a bit nervous and stuff because then it just makes me feel more nervous but then when i don't talk about it it makes me feel like i'm alone and i've seen so many stories in the past two days of people traveling so much and i'm just like bro if they can do it like what's why are you different like why do you have to be different you know probably not vlog at all until I'm heading to the airport, so I'll see you then. It is now, I think, like one-ish in the afternoon. I have to leave to the airport, I think, at seven-ish. My flight is at 10.50. Uh, so, actually, I can be at the airport at eight. I don't know, let's see. We're back on the floor. I'm feeling better. I cried two times, so I took a shower. I'm ready, I've changed. This is my fit. I'm just wearing the full uh pangaya and headspace collab thing in the next hour and a half i'm gonna go to the airport but i just showered and got ready and stuff because i felt like i needed to get rid of that vibe i did my skincare my bags are packed and at the door and i just want to eat and chill and then head to the airport my emotions are up and down but now we're up so the funniest thing in the world happened um i got to the airport i'm checking in and I can't check in. We had some like issues with like the booking and stuff and then the check-in closed and then the next flight was 10 minutes after that one and then the check-in for that one closed as well so I'm just chilling man. I'm just here chilling in the airport waiting to get picked up go back home. Um, I might go tomorrow instead or I might just not go. Did I manifest this? I don't know but it was so interesting. Literally the first time I smiled today is when they were like you can't board. I was like Ah, man. We, are, we were almost there, you know? It was so close, but yet so far. I cried a total of like five times today. It's the next day. There's a flight at one, one. There's a flight at one. It is now 10.20. I think I'm gonna take it. I think I'm gonna do it because um, it just sounds like the right thing to do. It sounds like um it's the plan that will make me feel happy and proud about this whole thing if i don't do it i'm just gonna i don't know um but i think i'm gonna do it i'm not sure yet i'm just gonna start doing my skincare and stuff because i don't even have that much time if i am gonna do it i have to be in the airport in the next 45 minutes so let's see let's get ready and see how we feel we're going my mom's right mom and wave put your hand <laughs> my mom's driving we're going to the airport my flight is in two hours so we'll make it we'll get bye and i feel good bye i feel like this is a continuation of yesterday because it's the same gate 
uh, just different people. We're out here again. Let's see how it goes this time. I'm still waiting on my friend and he is not here. But check-in closes at like 12 and we're good. Definitely feeling so much better than yesterday because um, I woke up and I didn't really have time to think about um, my feelings and stuff. At first when I woke up, I was like, I'm just not going to do it. My hair is crazy. Hold on. So at first when I woke up, I made up my mind, even when I went to sleep, that I'm not going to go anymore. And then after thinking about it for like a few minutes, I was like, listen, you're feeling good. I think you should do it because if you don't do it, you're going to regret it. Yeah, I just feel like I feel good. So why not go now? I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm at check-in now. Hopefully I check in. with Qatar Airways Privilege Club. <laughs> I forgot how <laughs> these phones work. Uh, it says call seven two four six. That's what I'm doing. Downstairs. I just, just want to talk to a person. Oh. Service. Okay. Concierge. Bro, none of the numbers are working. Is that phone broken? Okay. Maintenance inquiry. Room. Phone. Not working. Let's see. There's a phone at the bedside and that worked. I ordered a burger and I'm gonna check if there's like a hairdresser downstairs so I can maybe get my hair blow dried instead of me doing it myself. That completely terrified me just now. Thank you for calling. If you know the extension of the person with whom you wish to speak, enter it now. To speak with an operator, press zero or stay on the line. Please hold. Also, they're just not answering, so. What's royal service? Is that like room service? Okay.
So let me give you guys an update on everything. The flight was supposed to be last night at 1050, but then there was like an issue with my visa and like the hotel booking and things like that. And I wasn't able to board. And then they said, you can take the next flight, which is at 11. And then my documents didn't come in time for that either. It was like a 10 minute difference. I was happy when that happened. I was actually like, I felt so much relief. And then they said there's another flight at 4 a.m. Or you can pick tomorrow at the same time or whatever. In my head, I was like, I'm done. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I tried to. I went through a lot of emotions to do it, but it didn't work out. So I'm just not going to do it. And then when I got home, I was also decided I'm just not going to do it. Then this morning, I woke up and my friend was like, hey, I'm thinking of going for the flight today. And then I checked and I saw that there was a flight at 1.15 p.m. And at that point, it was like 10.15. I didn't want to go. I had it set in my head that I'm not going. And then I was like, listen, let me do my skincare. Let me get ready see how i feel and while i was doing my skincare i was like okay i'm feeling kind of good and i'm not overthinking i'm not able to think either and it's because i had just woken up and i was like this is perfect you don't have time to think let's go so i asked my mom if what she thinks and she was like you should definitely be going so we quickly got in the car got to the airport got through and when i got to duty free i was kind of like damn i was like it's been a while like i haven't seen duty free in so long and it just felt it just felt so exciting and i was like i don't remember the last time being around any of this type of thing like passport control and security check and all of that we did that and then we wanted to grab a bite while we were ordering we realized that it was the final call for our flight we didn't realize so we didn't order anything and we ran we got to the flight sat down so empty there was so much space and when i sat on the plane i still felt really good then during takeoff is when i thought I would be nervous and I wasn't. I was so not nervous about takeoff. I felt so good. I was looking at, I was like, maybe I won't look out the window. But then I started looking out the window. I was like, wow, that's so pretty. And then I closed my eyes for a little bit. And I was like, wow, like it just feels so good. And I told myself in my head, I was like, Hammy, really? That's what you're afraid of? Who is it? Yeah, so in my head, I was kind of like, not kind of, I was like, Hammy, really? This is what you were scared of? This is what you were afraid of? and i felt so good and then when they brought out the snacks and stuff like five ten minutes later i felt like a drop in my heart i felt a little bit anxious and i could have freaked myself out for sure but i didn't and i know for a fact that the anxiety that i felt is because i was going away from home i don't know it wasn't like it wasn't related to flying it was just a completely different story i decided to stay calm and usually in a moment like that i would just like stop eating but I forced myself to continue eating, to just like be very present. And it helped so much. It completely disappeared after like three minutes or something like that. And then I was chilling. I was taking some videos from outside the window. I played Angry Birds. We took off at 1.30 and then at 1.48, the captain's like, hey, we're descending. We're gonna start uh, going towards landing. I was like, <laughs> that was such a short flight. We were actually laughing when he said that. We're like, you're kidding, right? That was not even 20 minutes of being in the air but we landed almost like 50 minutes after we took off it was very chill it was very easy and i'm i'm actually glad that yesterday didn't work out because i feel like my mindset my energy my vibes everything i look like i look like buttercup i'm glad yesterday didn't work out because i feel like my energy and my vibe and the entire thing was just not it and it wouldn't have gone the way it went today. But I'm so excited. Almost three years later, I got on a plane. And I'm very proud of myself. And I'm excited to do more trips as well. And I'm so happy. I'm so, so, so happy. I'm going to be here for a few days. I'm not going to show you the room in this vlog. I'll show it in next week's vlog just because of security reasons there's a lot of content creators and like famous people and stuff in this hotel and um out of respect for them and like security and privacy and stuff i'm not gonna share the hotel but in next week's vlog everyone will already be back home and um, the event will be done and all of that so i'll do a room tour i'll do um a tour of whatever we end up doing with everyone. I've been wanting to do this vlog for a while and I'm glad.
that it's finally here and it's finally out and i finally did it like subscribe and i'll see you next thursday bye hello hey, how are you i'm good how about you good thank you please come thanks